house and shadow situated on a barren hill and enveloped in a perpetual mist. Hollow Hill House was a dilapidated estate with a mysterious past. The Turner family chose to live in the intimidating building, whose elaborate fod had faded with time after it had been abandoned for a long time. They did not realize that the building was home to evil spirits. The Turners were captivated to Hollow Hill House's grandeur as they looked for a new beginning. Time had veiled the mansion's sinister past, and its commanding presence emanated a spooky charm. They had no idea that the crumbling walls still carried the weight of the past, and that the secrets of a tormented past were hidden behind the dancing shadows in the corners. Chapter 1 The gallant mix of enthusiasm and anxiety surrounded the Turner family's arrival into Hollow Hill House. Mark, Emma, and their two kids, Ava and Jake. The moment they took up residence in their new home, there appeared to be a hint of something evil. Lurking within, an unseen presence that thick in the air. Artist Emma was intrigued to the mansion's unsettling charm and started drawing its foreboding architecture. She had no idea that her drawings would become a medium for the ghosts residing at Hollow Hill House, igniting a paranormal force that was ravenous for living people. Chapter 2 The residents you can't see family began to witness unexplainable, irrational happenings as night fell. Slight shadows swirled in the edges of their eyesight, and whispers resounded down the deserted hallways. Once animated and carefree, Ava and Jake withdrew, their laughter giving way to silent looks into space. Immersed in her artistic endeavors, Emma started sketching spectral figure apparitions that appeared to materialize when the moon was high in the sky. Initially dubious, Mark was unable to ignore the tangible anxiety that engulfed the family feeling as though the walls themselves were closing in. Chapter 3 The Haunted Symphonionary Tomb That Seemed To come from Hollow Hill House itself startled the Turners awake one fateful night. A chorus of ethereal voices sang a melancholy melody as the ghostly chords of a piano reverberated throughout the home. The family followed the ethereal music into the mansion's enormous ballroom, lost in a state of trance. Ghostly dancers spun in a ghostly waltz, while ghostly candles cast a spectral glow over the place. Mark and Emma were left to watch in horror as the Phantom Symphony was played, while Ava and Jake entered the ghostly procession with closed eyes. The final note faded. The apparitions moved on, and Ava and Jake found themselves back in the real world, their ghostly dance long forgotten. Now in prison in their own house, the Turners started to uncover the sinister lies that connected them to Hollow Hill House's evil spirits. Chapter 4 The Enigma of the Curse Ain't an Attempt to Comprehend the Eerie Energy Engulfing Their Family the Turners investigated Hollow Hill House's past. They discovered the terrible story of the mansion's previous occupants of family, split apart by treachery in a curse that would condemn them to an eternity of pain throughout forgotten papers and dusty archives. The original owners, the Holloway family, had suffered generations before. At the hands of a sinister power seeking revenge for a long forgotten transgression, the Holloway's lives were taken by a curse resulting from betrayal and agony, which imprisoned their tortured spirits inside the crumbling walls of the home. When the Turners assembled the sad tale, they saw that Emma's drawings had turned into a medium for the spirit's suffering a way for the otherworldly beings to attempt to manifest and carry out their never-ending suffering. Chapter 5 The Release 
ritual Turner sought the advice of a paranormal investigator because they were determined to break free from the ghostly bonds that held them captive at Hollow Hill House. The knowledgeable specialist, skilled in sorcery, disclosed a procedure capable of breaking the curse and freeing the troubled spirits from their spectral confinement. The family carried out the age-old custom as they assembled in the opulent ballroom, the air thick with expectation. Strong words reverberated throughout the space, the heavenly symphony turning into a clamor of agonized cries. Standing at the center, their bodies vibrating with invisible energy, were Ava and Jake, the unwitting carriers of the cars. The mansion shook as the ritual came to a head and the eerie apparitions emerged. The ghosts, imprisoned in their never-ending suffering, took comfort in the liberation the Turners had given them. The specters gave one last, sorrowful lament and vanished, leaving Hollow Hill House in a strange silence. Epilogue The persistent shadows Turners watched the once menacing estate Hollow Hill House, shrouded in a spectral peace as dawn broke. The evil entity that had ensnared the Turners had been freed, and the curse that had afflicted the Holloway family for many centuries had been lifted. However, the family couldn't get rid of the impression that Hollow Hill House's shadows continued to linger as they stared at the now haunted home. Though muffled, the sounds of a terrible past still reverberated through the creaky hallways, serving as a reminder that someone even those caused by the supernatural process after a curse was broken. After their harrowing experience, the Turners left Hollow Hill House behind, its sordid past now a gossip among the locals. The mansion lay abandoned on the lonely hill, and the shadows that danced inside its walls testified to the power of the magical forces that had once imprisoned it.